So today I'm going to talk about tripod. Tripod was something I thought was unnecessary when I started shooting PRS because I didn't see the value in it. I mostly use tripods on matches for spotting but also I use them for shooting support. So I got two different tripods. Uh, one is an uh, inverted one which means it's only a two section and I got a regular one with four sections. This is the Leo Photo 322 and this is the Leo Photo 364. They are both in carbon fiber and weigh under two kilos each, which is really nice because we pack a lot of gear and I don't want to carry more than I need to. The pros with an inverted tripod is that it goes really quick to deploy when you get to a new stage and you want to just pick up your binos and check the the target this one is also a bit larger the tubes are a bit larger so it becomes a bit more stable if you want to shoot from like the top on a tack table or use it as a shooting support the cons with it uh, it's that it's much larger if you want to carry it around so the size and on the other way it's just with the small one the pros are it's really small to just put in your bag and also, it's much slower to deploy if you get to a new stage before you can put up your spotting scope. The inverted tripod is really my go-to tripod if I only can choose one. And the regular tripod, this one, is mostly for my, my spotting setup. So normally I have like four setups with this. It's like binos only, binos and a rangefinder on an ARCA rail. I will show you that. Tack table rear and shooting support. My Binos has an uh, ARCA adapter directly, so I can just hook it up and start spotting. And so does my spotting tube as well. Got a homemade tack table. It's just a metal plate with some grip tape and an ARCA connection here. Here I can put a bag for either use my binos directly on the bag or I can use this as a tack table rear. Or I can just mount my gun directly to the tripod and shoot straight from it. It holds my gun perfectly and a benefit of this is also I can use it when I clean my gun. So this setup with my binos are probably the most common one I use it for because I really try to look as much as possible during a stage down the range and see what's happening with the targets regarding winds or just trying to in my head create a target map my other spotting setup is just an arc rail with two connections one for the spotting tube and one for the rangefinder the benefits with the arc rail with an extra uniball is that you first put your spotting tube on the target and then afterwards, you can adjust the rangefinder to be at the same target. When I use the tripod as a shooting support, I try always to have a front plate with a bag on it. It attaches to the rifle, so I don't need to control another bag. It's all an easy process to just switch between positions when using a tripod. When shooting with tripod support rear, the right hand, if you're a right hand shooter, goes through the tripod and the left hand goes outside the tripod and connecting the tripod and the gun my left hand I use my thumb to secure my hand to the tripod also the three fingers under my pointing finger I connect to my stock and the three other fingers connects to the tripod as well with this finger I can press together with my thumb so the tripod and the gun stays really stable and also a pro tip is to find your target first with the gun then connect the tripod to the rear of your gun otherwise it's really easy to compress the tripod and you don't get that stability because it starts to fold get behind the gun find your target and then you connect the tripod another tip is if you have the possibility, always go from left to right when using a tripod because if you go right to left, it's easy, as I said before, to fold it back in. But if you drag it from the left, it's almost impossible that it folds. So get in position. When you find the target, connect the tripod, lock it all up, load and shoot.
The other shooting support that we can use is the tripod as a tack table. You should connect your plate, lock it up, and then you use the bag as rear support. Just like a prone position, you're basically building a prone position from a tripod. This one is a bit trickier because you have to measure so you get your stock to be perfectly aligned with the bag. Or you have some, you have, I mean, you can put your bag in a couple of, of different positions and still be good. But this one is a bit harder to use. I'm not a really fan of it, mostly because I don't train with it. I think it's much easier to just use my tripod as a rear support uh, without a bag. But I can really see the benefits of doing this technique. This is really good to use when there are small targets and the barricade is on the same height all over. Or maybe like a school bus or anything with windows that you're peeking out which is the same height on everyone. Technique here is put down your rifle on a position, connect your tripod with the bag as a rear support. I like to use the two front legs as close as possible to the barricade so I can get it closed. After this, it's just to get it like a normal prone position. Support hand goes on the bag, right hand goes on the action as normal. This becomes dead stable and I can really see the benefit here instead of using a like normal tripod rear support. If you have like a KYL rack or anything with really small targets, you're really building like a prone position from this one, but standing. So a modified prone. You don't need to use like the front bag here. You can use like iPods, another bag or anything, depending on if it's only one position. If this were my only position that I'm shooting from, or I want to adjust the height easy, maybe the bipod would be in much easier to use here. So this is how I use my tripods and I got two of them as I said. Because on matches I like to use one just for spotting so I don't need to like put on and put off uh, things from it. One is a dedicated spotting station and the other one is shooting support. I will link both of these in the description so you can read about them if you're interested. I think Leo Photo is probably most bang for the buck when it gets to tripod, at least outside the States. Hope you find this interesting how you use my tripods. So if you don't already have a tripod, I really recommend you to get a tripod, regardless if it's for spotting or shooting support. Now it's time for me to start shooting here at the range.